Hello everybody, I wanted to do a quick Facebook review um, of what's been happening over the past few months and actually past few years. So uh, you can see that Facebook has had a pretty strong uh, run up overall um, up until about 2022 and then from 2022 to 2023 they went down uh, primarily uh, in 2022. So the earnings were uh, looking a little bit uh, rough and then even though the earnings were um, still pretty low, um, it started to rise again in 2023. So earnings really skyrocketed recently um, with some pretty great earning reports. The question is, will that continue and is the market fundamentally different uh, than it was uh, back in, uh, you know, 2021, 22 land. So basically I added some more earnings. You can see it's basically $1 to $2 to $3 primarily. So these four and $5 earning, earning reports, earning per share was quite um, amazing, I would say, um, for Facebook. Here's kind of the graph that I've been noticing. Um, basically, we see a lot of changes after COVID kind of showing uh, what we might see uh, coming up next. Um, so basically, we did see a pretty heavy uptrend here after COVID. Um, and then basically... Uh, there was some stability here and then also some stability here. So basically restructuring of the market, giving it kind of some support levels, but then it dropped on that earning report right here. It's unlikely that these earnings will stay the same. Um, so it could drop back to the 300 range, meaning there is a quite a big short possibility um, if that's true. Now, I currently don't own any Facebook right now, um, but I may be interested in potentially shorting it. So based on the earnings per share, you can see that that's probably shortable. And you can see we're starting to see some of that um, turnaround. This was an up, upwards trend, and then right back in here on the 11th, um, 311, there was uh, some problems. So it kind of has been turning around since then. You can see the MACD is about to cross over here as well, so that's a big sign. And this is the highest point that it's ever had in its history of Facebook. So it is quite likely that there should be at least a little bit of a turnaround um, historically. So it's possible for the MACD that we might not see the full negativity of this until July. So that tells us that there's still some months of ups and downs, um, choppiness, um, definitely until July. And then when the best shorts will probably come in. With that said, let's look at the volume. So the volume is already starting to weaken a bit um, and even head to negative land. So it is it, there was some negative volume back in here and then some pretty significant negative volume back in here. But it was pretty choppy as well. There were some positive chunks in there. So basically the volatility was quite significant um, of a player there. Just add the elder force index here so you can see some of the forces. So basically that force downward was quite significant historically. That was pretty much the worst that Facebook has ever seen um, historically, um, at least in the last 10 years. And this recent uptrend was the biggest, but actually that downtrend was even more significant in terms of the volume because you can see the volume was high here as well as the drop was big so that's why the force was so much bigger here so you can basically say that the downward trend was still quite more significant uh, back in 2022 so basically that means there is a possibility for a short in here because the uh, when you look at this it basically shows they're still mostly positive on this but this negative really was strong in 2022 Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review of Facebook. Um, this is the MACD here. This is the Klinger volume oscillator. And then this is the just volume chart. This is the Elder Force Index. Thanks a lot.